No, jurors are learning more about the second of four crime scenes that were discovered just hours after eight members of the Roden family were shot and killed more than six years ago. Is this open window on the back of a mobile home the path a killer took to take the lives of Frankie Roden and his fiancee, Hannah Hazel Gilly? It's a question the prosecution and defense focused on during BCI agent Todd Fortner's time on the witness stand today. In a report he wrote after investigating the trailer where Frankie and Hannah were killed during the 2016 Pike County massacre, Fortner cast doubt on the window serving as an entryway. Prosecutor Andy Wilson pressed Fortner on that point during the eighth day of George Wagner's murder trial. Even though you said it was unlikely, based on your observations, was it impossible? No, it was possible. Like I said, it would take somebody smaller and more agile, but not impossible. In an unusual twist, one of George Wagner's attorneys, John Parker, suggested that smaller, more agile person might have been Jake Wagner. He intimated as much before jurors returned from their lunch break while asking the judge to declare a mistrial because of grisly crime scene photos shown to the jury. Parker said future testimony will point to George Wagner's brother, Jake, as the one who entered Frankie and Hannah's bedroom and killed them. While the jury is yet to hear any of that testimony, they did learn today that investigators collected evidence of the fatal gunshots Frankie Roden and Hannah Gilly suffered. Um, this is the area um, of the bedding where Frankie had been laying in between Frankie and, and Hannah. Um, and after we removed him, we did find a rimfire cartridge casing there on the bed. REM denotes that it was manufactured by the Remington Company. Now, Todd Fortner also talked about first entering Frankie and Hannah's residence. He said there was a TV on playing cartoons. Not surprising because two little boys were in the house at the time. Thankfully, they survived the shootings. As for the defense request to have Judge Deering declare a mistrial, it was overruled. Deering disagreed with a prosecutor who argued that showing the jurors all those grisly photos will help them connect dots between the eight murder victims and the four different crime scenes. Reporting live tonight in Waverly, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.